Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Deep below the surface of the ocean lurks a creature so large and terrifying it has become the topic of many books and been featured in many films. The giant squid. These creatures remain quite mysterious to scientists because of their elusive nature, despite being the largest invertebrate on Earth. Although known to mankind for centuries, it was only in 2004 when researchers took the first images of these creatures. In 2006, after catching a giant squid, scientists made some interesting discoveries. Here follow 10 facts to replace the myths surrounding the giant squid. Number 10. They have three hearts. Ever heard the saying, have a heart? In the case of the giant squid, one is not enough. They have three. Aside from having a sophisticated nervous system and complex brain, giant squid make use of all three hearts to pump blood to their unusual bodies and tentacles. They have two bronchial hearts and one systematic heart. The bronchial heart pumps blood to the gills where oxygen is taken up. Blood then flows to the systematic heart where it is pumped to the rest of the body. Another interesting fact, Squid blood is blue, not red as in humans. This is because squid blood contains a copper containing compound called hemocyanin as opposed to the hemoglobin found in human blood which contains iron. Number 9. The giant squid and sperm whales are natural enemies. Research has shown that squid, including giant squid, are on the menu for sperm whales. Tenacious sperm whales will dive as deep as 6,500 feet or 2,000 meters to hunt for these tasty squid, staying underwater for more than an hour during their search. Giant squid are thought to make up three quarters of the sperm whale's diet and one whale can consume as many as 800 squid per day. These encounters between sperm whales and giant squid are based on evidence found in the stomachs of sperm whales in the form of indigestible beaks and other body parts. Sperm whales often bear scars inflicted on them by the suckers of the giant squid as well. It must be quite a spectacle when these two ocean giants square off. Number 8. They are the dragons of the abyss. Giant squid have been around for millennia and various sightings throughout the ages have given rise to many a sea story amongst sailors. To many, giant squid were considered sea monsters and sightings gave rise to maritime folklore and myths which instilled terror in the hearts of sailors who had the misfortune of encountering them. Giant squid have been the villain in books such as Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and in movies such as in the James Bond thriller Dr. No and the second Pirates of the Caribbean film in 2006. It was only in the last 150 years that the true nature of these creatures became apparent through frequent sightings and research carried out on deceased giant squid. But it seems like the monster stigma attached to the giant squid will be a hard one to shake off. Number 7. They exhibit deep sea giantism. Deep sea giantism is the tendency for animals that live at great depths to grow much larger than their shallow water relatives. It's not an exact science as to why, but some explanations include colder temperature, food scarcity, and the absence of predators. The giant squid is a prime example of deep sea giantism and it can grow to a tremendous size. The largest giant squid ever recorded by scientists was 43 feet or 30 meters long and weighed nearly a ton. Saying this, the ocean is a vast place. These creatures live deep and are very elusive, so it's impossible to know what size creature is hanging around in some dark abyss. Despite their size, however, it is estimated that giant squid live only 4-6 to six years. Number 6. They squirt ink. Nearly all cephalopods can squirt ink as an escape measure when they feel threatened. The animals release the ink from sacs that are located between their gills and accompany the ink squirt with a jet of water. The ink creates a dark cloud to obscure the predator's view so the squid can make a hasty escape. The main compound in squid ink is melanin, which is the pigment responsible for the ink's dark color. Squid ink has long been used in human civilization in the form of ink pens and quills. Modern uses for squid ink include being used as food colorant in cooking and it's widely available in Japanese and Spanish markets. Number 5. They practice cannibalism. In the dark, vast waters of the deep sea, food is scarce and several species of squid including the giant squid are known to eat each other. This phenomenon was discovered while studying the stomach contents of some giant squid. In recent years, submersibles have caught many of these species feeding on their own kind in their native habitat. 
One theory as to why squid do this is that because squid grow quickly, they need lots of food to fuel their metabolism. Cannibalism could be an easy way to fill an empty stomach. There may be another reason for the squid's cannibalistic behavior, in the sense that it may reduce competition and therefore scarcer food resources become more readily available. Number 4. They have serrated suckers. When one thinks about a squid, it's hard not to imagine those long tentacles writhing around in the water, snatching their prey, and attached to those arms and tentacles are sharply serrated suckers. Each sucker has a ring of razor-sharp teeth which these predators use to latch onto and take down their prey. Giant squid have eight arms and two tentacles fitted with these suckers, and each of these has a diameter of almost 1 inch to 2 inches or 2.5 centimeters to be used as weapons. Once the terrifying suckers latch onto a victim, they will not let go. One just has to look at the markings found on sperm whales to see the damage they can inflict. Number 3. They have gigantic eyes. You'd expect a giant creature to have gigantic eyes, and you'd be right in the case of the giant squid. This is one creature you don't want to have a staring contest with because giant squid have eyes as big as frisbees. Massive eyeballs of 10 to 5 inches wide or 27 centimeters are common for giant squid. In fact, giant squid eyes are the largest in the animal kingdom. Situated on the sides of their head, these eyes help the squids detect predators from ahead and behind. Unlike the jelly-like substance that is found in human eyes, giant squid's eyes are made mostly of water. Once the squid dies, the water leaks out and the eye deflates, leaving only the eye sockets. Because they live so deep where there is no light, these huge eyes are a fantastic adaptation for seeing in the dark. Giant squid effectively use their oversized eyes to see and catch prey in the sunless depths of the ocean. These eyes can also produce their own light, which makes them literally glow in the dark. Number 2. They have regenerative powers. Regeneration is a process that restores structure and function of tissues damaged by injury or disease and it's quite a handy trick to have up your sleeve if you're a giant squid. The ability to regrow damaged structures in the animal kingdom is quite common and the extent of these regenerative powers varies among species. Scientists have concluded that giant squid can regenerate sucking discs, arms, nerve tissues and even corneal tissue. Chop off a tentacle and it can grow a new one. Although these regenerated tentacles are not identical to the ones they lost, they are long and have suckers, so they get the job done. However, there is no evidence to suggest that a giant squid can regrow a severed head or large piece of its body. Number 1. They have sharp beaks and spiked tongues. So what happens once a giant squid has attached its tentacles to a prey animal? The squid uses its arms to move the unlucky creature to its beak where it is processed. You'll find a giant squid's beak in the center of its web of tentacles and it resembles that of a parrot. This incredibly hard beak, as hard as metal, then proceeds to dismember and kill the prey in a most methodical manner. After the prey is dead, it moves on to the next station, mainly the tongue. Instead of having a proper tongue, giant squid have something called a radula. This tongue-like organ is covered with rows of tiny teeth which cut the food into fine bits before it travels onto the esophagus. Just to give you an idea of how dangerous a giant squid's beak is, scientists think it has a bite force of more than 1,000 pounds or 455 kilograms, stronger than the jaws of a hyena. These fascinating creatures with their unique characteristics and features are part of an ecosystem that we are just starting to understand. Research is ongoing but limited as they are elusive and live in very deep waters. What did you find interesting about the giant squid? If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell for updates on our newest marine videos and stay curious.